little Anita But definitely set this party all right Hi everybody, I'm Anita Welcome back to my channel um, Today's video is going to be Another Like preparing for my last semester of nursing school Kind of video um, So if y'all watch my last video of studying or whatever it was a summer semester that i was taking three classes two nursing courses and a philosophy class um so i successfully passed those three classes i had two a's an a in both nursing classes and a b in philosophy um so next week which is on august 26 we're going to be starting our final semester of nursing school graduating in December of 2019 yes so um they already posted our our classes are not up online for us to access the class yet but they did post our um let's see our prospective calendar to the the final semester and it's just basically like an outline of each month for that semester and all of the assignments that are going to be due and the due dates of everything so today is wednesday august 21st so i'm going to just get my desk back in order because i haven't touched it since i took my last final on friday for philosophy and i just left everything the way it was so today i'm going to reorganize my desk set up my planner with um the dates to start next semester and that's about it i guess just prepare myself for the next semester like i always do so if y'all want to see how i do that just keep watching
I got my desk all cleaned and organized. So now I'm going to just start with my calendar and start planning out, like plotting the dates in my planner. So let's get started. so I got everything plotted on my planner I'm gonna show y'all in a second <clears throat> um, how it came out like how it looks I like to color coordinate everything so 
basically what I did I went through each of the monthly let's see I went through each one and color coded everything by color so orientation the first day I did it in orange I think that's the only thing in orange all my HESI exams I put them in pink so I know that HESIs are pink and I have to go on campus to take those and we have one two three four five five of those and the exit has in december and then green is like the on-campus assignment sim like clinical days and purple are discussion boards that we have to get done online and blue is regular exams regular exams that we can take online from home and that's it so i'll show y'all what it looks like in my planner it's basically the same I did it in those same colors so for the first day in August it's next Tuesday the Wednesday they are not playing like we have our first exam which is a HESI med surge exam at school and then we're gonna go to September and we don't have school on Labor Day uh, take an online exam here and here and I wrote down both clinical days, which we only have to do two. I just don't remember if I signed, excuse me, if I signed up for the 12 and 13 or the 26 and 27. So I wrote them both down. And once we get our classes online, then it should show which days I'm actually um, registered to do. So then I'll just white out the other one or cross it out and make sure I attend the right one. Um... Let's get to October. October, of course, is my due date, October 30th. I do have a, a HESI exam to do at school on that day. I'm not sure how I'm going to work that out. I have to talk to the director on the first day to see if I'll be able to um, play it by ear and just see like if if I have my baby before that day, would I be able to come in? I mean, I could still take it on that day if I have my baby somewhere before that. But if I don't have him before the 30th, I don't want to drive an hour and a half to school to take an exam and have to drive an hour and a half back on my due date because anything can happen. So hopefully she'll let me either come in the day before or like earlier and take that test or let me take it after I have my baby. We'll see how that goes. But um, the HESI form is here and HESI critical care here and then of course the OB um, I don't know if I have to attend all of the sim labs I think we only have to do two of them so hopefully I could get into the first two so I get that done before my due date and we have the discussions that comes open on this day you have a week to get it done and it's due here on the 27th uh that's october and then here november same thing discussion two opens on the monday and then you have the whole week to get it done and then it's due on the 10th um another hesse november 13th at school then we have to do the elevate um somewhere in october let's see somewhere in october they have to do the hearse review yeah they have to go in for the hearse review on the 17 18 and 19. i've already done mine just because it's in october and it's so late in the month i didn't want to take the chance of having my baby and missing it so my director went ahead and let me take it closer to home um about two weeks ago i took it like an hour away from my house so i already got that done and out of the way so i don't have to do that with the class but then i have everything else Elevate is a part of the Hearst Review course. They're going to offer it to us. We're going to take it at school. And it looks like it's two reviews. The number one and number two on campus from 9 to 12 both days. And then the 20th, we have to be on, stay on campus until to meet again at 1 o'clock for, I think it was something, oh, for 
telling us about our NCLEX study plan and I guess what we have to do to make it and how to make it and everything and then it's going to be due the following Wednesday. We also have preceptor hours to get done, 120 to be exact. hundred and twenty hours to get done of precept hours I have to get mine done theirs is due November 26 hopefully I could get mine done before I have my baby just because I need that six weeks after to be home and heal and not be um, you know like out in the field around sick patients so I'll try to get mine done before my due date um, we also have a management seminar on campus from 9 to 4. Of course, it's Thanksgiving. And I think that was pretty much it as far as assignments. Because when we come back after Thanksgiving, we take our exit HESI Monday, December 2nd. Um, if you pass it the first time, then you go over to your pending ceremony which is on the 11th the next week and then graduation follows on the 13th however if you don't pass it and i'm saying you because i don't plan on failing it <laughs> i want to pass it this first time of course we all do but that's not the way it always goes so they're going to offer it a second time on the ninth. you get two tries to take it before pinning just so you can still participate in pinning and graduation so that's your first and second attempt and then of course you have another attempt and I think they scheduled like a month and a half after graduation to give you time to study and see what you got wrong, reorient yourself, prepare better and then you take it again and that's the final time. If you don't pass it then you have to test back in the way that I tested back in in level two. You would have to, whoever fails it would have to test back in in level three and um pay the registration fee take the test again over the summer right before this final semester starts next year and if you pass it that time then you start back in level three and take the entire level again and then you at the end of it take the same HESI again the exit HESI and if you pass it then you graduate with that class and I actually know a girl who failed it last year and she tested she took the test to test back in with us this semester, but she unfortunately didn't pass it. So she has to, I don't even know if she have to, what happens if you don't pass it on your re-entry? Like I'm guessing maybe you have to um, start over from the beginning or maybe you can try again next year. I don't know. I didn't even talk to her yet to know, but she did tell me she failed it. And I felt so bad for her because nobody ever wants to go through nursing school the entire program and then can't like pass your exit HESI to even graduate and go on to take the NCLEX but hopefully that's not the situation for me this year I've been studying that's basically my um my planner for the final semester of nursing school and I'm sure I'm sure Excuse me, I'm sure on the first day of class next Tuesday they're going to probably make some changes to this schedule. They're probably going to add something or take something away. Um, I don't think I said it, but we also have we also have some case studies that we have to get done. I remember writing it. I think it was due with the preceptor hours. Preceptor hours are due on this day as well as remediations. I don't plan on getting any remediations. Basically remediations is if you fail any of the regular exams, I think it, I don't know if it applies for HESI, but I know at the regular exams, like the one, the two exams that we take online from home, if you fail any of those, which is making below a 75, then you have to do a remediation. And those remediations will be due on this day. We also have Evolve case studies due on that day, which we do online. And I think that's it. The studying for my HESI med search for next week. Um, to study for that, I'm basically going to brush up on lab ranges because I have a hard time remembering all of them. Of course, I'm going to read my Hearst review book. This book right here from the Hearst Review that I just took. 
I'm going to go into that book. I'm also going to go into my NCLEX RN book. This is a very good book to study for. And because it is HESI, I'm going to also use my HESI. It's the um, HESI NCLEX RN exam book. Yeah, so it has a med search section right here for HESI. So I'm going to review that, all those different parts of it, which is in my, also in the Hearst Review book, but this will give me more of an in-depth look at it. So I'm going to study that. And I do plan on getting started with all of this tonight because today is Wednesday, like I said. And that test is exactly one week from today. And I'd rather be overly prepared than not prepared at all. So this is where I, where I will start. And it's all of the green that I need to get through. That is all of the med surge content. So this. I'm going to get through this part. Let me go ahead and section it off. Like... This is med surge Hesse. So I'm going to start here and go through all of this green until I'm done. So that'll be in that book. And then for this book, I think it is also like subcategory. It's categorized to um, sections. Okay, they don't have a med surge. They have nursing science. Um, I don't think I'm going to use this book. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use this book per se. Just because... Yeah, I think I'm going to just stick with the red book. And I'll use that one as a reference guide for anything that's in this book that I'm not familiar with or need more instruction on okay and then here we have different sections that they give so um this is old so ignore this this is what i studied for those exams and that was in the first semester this is an old book my new book is in my clinical bag so i'm going to probably review okay so yeah i have med surge next to all the med surge topics so everything that says MS for med surge is what I'm going to probably read for this upcoming exam. Fluid and electrolytes, acid-base balance, burns, endocrine, cardiac, renal, GI, respiratory. Uh, and that's it. And that should get me well prepared for the first HESI med surge. Like this is all I studied last year. Of last year this is all I studied in the first semester for the med surge HESI and let's see I want to say I made I did very well on it I think I could show y'all my scores as soon as I get it pulled up but all I studied like literally only thing I studied was this and I did my lab ranges reviewed my lab ranges and everything and I did like extremely good on that test so January of last year is when I took the entrance exam, the entrance of HESI to uh, get in and we needed to make a 700. I made a 899. So they got me into the program. Okay, March 28th of last year, we took the first maternity HESI and we needed to make a 700. I made a 709, which was not great, but it was passing. Um, then April of last year, we took the med surge and I made an 814. And then what made me fail the class is when we took the HESI critical care test and I made a 575. So then this year, when I tested back into the program, I, um, <clears throat> I read just those sections in the, HES the Hearst review book. 
and went in and took the exam and I learned relearned like brushed up on my my lab ranges and the signs and symptoms of I think I did a video and showed y'all everything that I studied like the signs and symptoms of each disorder when it's too low or too high I learned I went over all that I relearned everything studied it all and went in and took it and I made a 980, 989 which is like almost a perfect score we took the critical care again and this year I made a 934 which is a major difference from what I made last year and that I give credit to the Hertz review book because last year we did the Hertz review and I didn't not say I didn't take it serious but I felt like it was too soon to um take that course and you're supposed to take it upon graduation but this year I went in with a different mind frame and I was like they make us take it early for a reason let's just get the most that you can out of it and that's what I did I paid attention I was interactive I retained so much of the information then once I was home I sat down I read all those sections I categorized each section according to whatever tests I had coming up and I studied that Hearst review book by itself nothing else and my scores show a great difference because of it so I don't plan on changing my study habits I don't do nothing fancy or spectacular where I'm writing out notes anymore or none of that printing out PowerPoints I don't even look at the PowerPoints to be honest like she puts what's gonna be covered on what test and I go straight into this book and categorize it according to whatever section the test is and I always do the HESI test in pink for some reason and then regular tests are in purple on this book but um that's what I studied for all the tests and I've been doing very well so not going to change that if it's not fixed if it's not broken don't try to fix it so that's where I'm at with studying for this semester my final semester hopefully my scores stay above 900 like I've been doing so far this year because we have six HESI well five HESIs and the exit HESI and the exit HESI we have to make a 900 so if I continue to make 900s above and above on all of them it's no way I should fail the exit HESI on the first try that's what I'm hoping and praying for so um that's basically how what I'm doing to set up for this semester Sorry about that. So my camera died. So um, like I said, I'm in the online part of the course, the program. So I don't go to class often, but my first day, everyone has to go on the first day, of course, for orientation and like to know due day. They go over everything again. So um, I'll probably take y'all along just to show my first day of my last semester. Um, give it a thumbs up if y'all would like to see that. Um, and as always, thanks for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to do so. Um, comment down below. Let me know any other videos y'all would like to see. I don't do much for studying other than what I just showed y'all. Like, I use Pinterest. I do use Pinterest. I do use Quizlet because Quizlet is so good. It has, like, I have it on my app. I have the app on my phone and on my iPad. And I put in a lot of my study stuff in it just so... Like if I'm on the go, I don't need to bring notes with me. I could just use my iPad or my phone when I'm sitting at doctor's appointments or anywhere and just could read it, take quizzes on it, test myself and things like that. I'll have my Quizlet account in the description box. Um, Pinterest for lab ranges and like mnemonics. I use a lot of mnemonics and things like that. Um, I think that's about it. So if there's anything else y'all want want to see a video on that I might can do, just let me know in the description, in the comments, and I'll do my best to get it done. And that's it. So I'll talk to y'all in the next video.